Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeelingLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. We're still working on the dresser. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, so it might look prettier than I normally do because I'm wearing makeup. I even fixed my hair this morning. So this morning I went to a play uh, with my mother-in-law and my daughter and I just got home a little bit ago, I had dinner and now we're gonna work on the dresser. But let me show you a little bit of what happened today. Okay, so we're out today and one of the things that people might not know about Minnesota is we have a wonderful theater culture here. So today we are out, we're going to a play. We have the Ordway, we have, um, what's the one, the Guthrie Theater. We have people come from all over the world so they can act in our theaters. And today we're going to see Footloose at the Chanhassen Dinner Theater. Welcome to the Chanhassen Dinner Theater. <laughs> Minnesota is known for our plays. There's a lot of people that come here before they go to Broadway to try things out. And it's just a really great culture, a theater culture here in Minnesota. So if you come up to Minnesota, make sure you check out Chanhassen or the Guthrie or the Ordway. There's so many great theaters here. Theater in the Round is another one of my favorites. So I grew up going to the theater with my mom every month. And now it's like, a thing that my mother-in-law takes us to do and hopefully it's a tradition I can carry on when Victoria grows up and I have grandkids of my own so anyway if I have grandkids of my own I've been rubbing my eyes though so this never came off Martha <laughs> don't get me started Martha Martha Stewart betrayed me um this is not gold you know how I know Martha because this is gold this is, this is what we were going for. I stopped at Lowe's on the way back from the play and picked up new drawer poles for Uncle Amos' dresser because I am going to get this finished painting, paint, painted, and I just want to make sure that I have the right pieces when I'm done. So these will be on the two drawers that are on the top. There'll be two of these. And then I have the ring poles for the remaining drawers, and I think it'll look pretty if we can get it to stop cracking. Here's open. Um, <laughs> I think today I'm going to sand down any kind of high spots or drips or anything. It doesn't matter. You roll on the the primer or you have to brush it in. It's going to drip. It's going to primers. This primer sensor bin is so thin that you're going to have something that gets gummed, gummed up or drippy or some, something. <clears throat> The allergies are so bad this year, you guys. Ugh. Miss Victoria and I sound like we have the OVID. And we don't. We tested ourselves. The poor kid. I made her like three tests already. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll let my clear my throat. Um, so you're going to have little issues, right? So I'm going to grab some a scuff pad. A scuff pad. A scuff pad and just start hitting the high spots, making sure it's all smoothed out before I go after it with some paint. Now where the ink was, seems to have covered this last round. It was like four coats. I had to put a coat of clear over it. I did not finish clearing the insides of the drawer where it says extra large and large. Still popping through there. So the inside will have to be painted. Amo better just leave this alone now. But I'm going to get some sandpaper and get to working. I want to make sure that there's no sags or drips. There's a little dent right there. I can feel like you can't really see it. <clears throat> but when I run my hand along it, like I can feel little sharp, just little, little, it's almost like sand. You know what I mean? It's like when you, when you roll it 
get those little air bubbles in there and they just leave that little texture. And before I put the paint on, I just want to, I want a smooth surface, y'all. I would like these to be as pristine as possible. Sometimes that's not always possible depending on the circumstances. It is extremely warm in here. <clears throat> you will see me get glossy any minute because I can feel it coming. But um, the sun goes down on this side of the house. So when I'm forced to work in the late afternoons like this, like tomorrow, I'll be able to get up and work in the morning and I'll be, I'll hit this with paint then because if I try and paint this tonight, it's too warm. It's going to get sticky and gummy and then I'm going to have nothing but problems. So tonight I'm just sanding. I'll get hot and sticky, but the paint won't get hot and sticky. <clears throat> I can't have that. I can't work in here. And it's supposed to be really hot this week and humid. So fantastic. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect timing. I need to get this done. So tomorrow I need to get this done so it has time to dry and I can get it into Vintage Junkie this week. It's the plan. That is the plan. So I'm staining the drawers. I might could get that done today. I can't stain the top. I'm going to try a new product on here and then uh, I'm going to match the drawers. So I might could get the drawers done. It's a possibility. Uh, we'll see because the stain should be fine. The stain won't get gummy. I have no faith in anything I say after yesterday. Just so you know, my confidence is shook. <laughs> I'm going to find my scuff pad and get to work. <laughs> and I'm just literally realizing. Is that lip up there? I was going to paint that. That should have been primed. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe I'll just leave it. I'm just going to stain it. I don't have time. Um, got a scuff pad. I'm hung on my water too because I'm going to need it. I'm going to start sweating soon. So it's just a 3M scuff pad. You can get these at the hardware store. Uh, this is nicer than it's a finishing scuff pad. It's nicer than sandpaper because I don't actually want to sand through this primer. Uh, it just really want to take those high spots off and level out any unevenness. So there's not too much unevenness that I saw. Except where it's cracking. <laughs> well, there's that. Um, but with the scuff pad, you see, you can just kind of... There's a high spot right here. I can just sort of hit it. And it didn't go through the paint. You see what I mean? You got more control than sandpaper. So I'm going to use the scuff pad, which is actually my husband's like go-to for all of his art. He's, he's a true artist. So he does like, <clears throat> he can, he can airbrush your, your guitars, your cars and your, you know, he does like art and he will wet sand and sand between each coat to make sure that you don't see any high spots. And this is his preferred method. So he, he informed me on this. Otherwise I used to sand it. And then yes, I would break through the coat all the time. But as I go, all I'm going to do is hit it and then run my hand on it. Like I can feel a high spot. So I'm going to hit that high spot right there. I feel like not enough people actually sand between coats if it needs it. And I don't think I always show, I don't think I've ever showed really. Have I ever showed that? I don't think I have. <laughs> I do do this. If I feel like there's a lot of high spots and there was a lot on this, I'm like, it's a texture. Like you could feel a texture on it. And I don't want that. Emil deserves better. He's haunting me, but he deserves better than having high spots on his dresser. It's a pretty dresser. And you can see it is coming off. You can see the white on it, but it is not like sanded down. 
So not that one spot. Lord help me. All right. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to say into my... And then at some point I lose patience with the artist way and I grab the sandpaper, right? Because I had some drips down here on the bottom that are thick. I don't want to I'm going to sand through them. <laughs> I hit one over here too. There's a drip over here. I'm like, that's a little thick for a big scuff pad. I'm going to sand through it. So I just got the uh, 220. Mm. This is 220. And I... They sanded through it because it was faster. I'm going to get the ones on the bottom, too. It's faster. So, I made a choice. I decided to sand the inside of the drawers instead of paint the whole thing to try and get that ink out. And they came out. So, it's extremely dusty in here. So, I put the mask on. I am going to let the dust settle. And then tomorrow I'll come in and we're going to get this thing hammered out. So, oh, I got the whole thing sanded down now, though. So all the drips are, are gone and it's smooth. And then the inside of the drawers have no ink on them anymore. So now when it's cool tomorrow, I will get on um, painting so that it's not gummy. And then we'll... Try that new product on the top. I almost forgot to sign off. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up anyway. It just helps with the algorithm. I appreciate it. Sorry I'm not pretty. <sighs> it's just really dusty in here. If you would like to get one of your own Happy Junkin' shirts, one that's not covered in dust, you can click the links below. If you'd like to send me a thrift flip challenge, you can send that to the P.O. Box or anything else you'd like to send me. You can send to the P.O. Box. No creepy mail. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee because the girls don't have tape, although it sounds like I'm a little amped up right now, <laughs> you can do that as well. It's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. Come back tomorrow. See how this turns out. I'm excited. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.